Hey everybody, welcome back. If you had any trouble downloading Eclipse or wanted to create Hello World or wanted a little bit more information about me, I have the introduction, download Eclipse, and Hello World in the previous lesson. So you can go back to that. But if you've already downloaded Eclipse, let's create a new class and we can call this print line class and we are going to create a main method and so you can check this off but actually I'm going to show you guys how you can auto create a main method just in case you forget or something like that okay so we have our print line class and now for our purposes right now a class is where you store your code and information it is often referred to as a blueprint for objects so let's say if you had a house the different objects within the house a door a window stairs all of these objects have physical traits and characteristics as well as functions and so all the doors in the house would be a class door the way to open that would be a twist and pull on the door and you can open the door windows all would be of the class window and all of these would have the same functions, maybe slightly different characteristics, but essentially all using the same blueprint or outline that we will give. And so this print line class will be printing, will be storing information on how to print different lines. And our programs and our classes are going to be very, very basic to start. Uh, and then you guys will get more and more advanced as we go. Now we are going to need to create a method. And a method stores a specific set of instructions for our class to execute. And specifically, our main method, which we mentioned in the last video, is where Java will go to when it is executed at runtime. So that is vital to what we are trying to do right now. And so as you guys develop more and more knowledge in programming, uh, it's important that you guys understand shortcuts and how to use the keys on the keyboard to quickly create what you want. Now, programmers obviously have to have great typing skills, but there are ways that they can build things faster by using these shortcuts. So here's a shortcut, just in case you forgot how to create a main method. It's a little bit complicated for what we're at, but you can just type in main and then control space and then enter and it will automatically create a main method for you and this is just one example of instead of having to try to remember and reference back to public static void main string args you can just do type in main and then control space and there's also um, sys out and control space and that'll set up your print line statement now where you can access this on windows is you can go to window preferences and i've already gone down to editor and then templates and this has a long list of if you wanted to create an if statement or a for loop you can just type in if control space enter and it'll shows you oh it needs the condition right in here and then this is where your command will be a for loop for control space this is how this is a general default setting for a for loop Okay, and so we'll we'll get into that a little bit later on, but it's important that you understand shortcuts so that you can be as efficient as possible going through this tutorial and keep up with me, as well as in the future, you'll be able to type out things very quickly. So now going on to printing some other things besides hello world on the screen. So when we have system.out.print line, if you actually just go and put in print, and you guys can just watch this, and hit control space, it'll have a lot of options that pop up that the autocomplete is predicting what they think you want to have happen. And so the parentheses that we see all over the screen and what we're going to be seeing a lot in the future, these are called parameters. And for all purposes right now, a parameter is what the method or the command that's about to happen or in instructions that are about to happen, what it needs in order to complete. So in order to complete this print, it needs either a boolean which we'll learn about these different data types in the future, but that's true, false, uh, a character, a double flow, int, okay, or a string. And a string is what we're going to be working with uh, for the most part right now. And so print, and we can do welcome to beginner tutorial series. And we can run that. And if you did the hello world, you'll know that that, will show up here at the bottom of the screen and we can make this a little bit bigger for us. Okay, and then we can do sys out control space 
And then we have this print ln. So the print prints whatever is in this parameter, which here we have text, uh, and, and that's all it does. The print line prints whatever's in the parameter, then it ends the line. And so if we have can't wait to get started, and we run this, welcome to beginner tutorial series, can't wait to get started, are all on one line. Because after we print this, it ends the line. So the next location to start is actually right here now. So if I do sys out, Java is awesome. And I run this, this will show up on an, another line. Okay? And so it, after it prints, it ends the line. So here it originally didn't have the print line and now we're going to print LN. So it'll print and then end the line. And now we have three separate lines. Okay. So the difference between print and print, print LN is that print LN will end the line after it prints. Print will simply just print it and, and leave it on that same line. And we'll, we'll show you a little bit of differences a little later on. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, that you guys don't just have to print, like I showed before, you don't just have to print text or a string, which we'll talk about the, what all these different mean in the next video. You don't have to always put quotes. You can do 589 plus 621. So if I do 589 plus 621, it will print the equation the answer to the equation right there so that's what it'll print out the actual addition that happened now let's say we wanted to kind of mix the two so i want the computer to say the answer to 589 plus 621 is space and this is the text and so in order to have both a string which is the text and these integers to both be printed you need to have a plus sign 589 plus 621 and now this plus has a different meaning than this plus okay, now if i just did 589 plus 621 um, you need this plus to add two different types if you did not have this plus it would come up with an error and so since this is our text and this will be an equation, we need to specify this. And in order to have this actually be an equation and not just have add an int value and put it next to, I'll show you what it looks like. 589, 621, put them next to each other. We actually want this to be an equation. We need to put these in parentheses. And so you need to have add an extra parentheses right here and now if we run it we get the answer to 589 plus 621 is 1210 now let's talk a little bit about why it is system.out.print and so when we do this system dot now when we do system dot it is saying we need to access the system and java already has a lot of information that you can use um, through the system class and so our system can do a lot of different things we can access different properties we can get the console get the current time based off of our system and so it's very important that you understand that this is saying that we are going to get the system and and provide some output through the system and so the output that we're going to put to print out onto the screen now Later, we're going to be using system.in, which will be input and how we will have users input text or commands into this onto the screen. And then that will be used within our program as well. Print line and printing doesn't just have to be in the output or the end of your code. Uh, you can print things to databases and you can print things to all sorts of different areas in your computer. If we're wanting to output and print some output to our system, uh, it's system.out.println. And so these dots or periods are referencing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call them dots. These dots mean you are referencing 
the previous class or variable. The first question my students always have is how did I get this view to be in dark mode? And since this is the first video, I'll go ahead and show you. Windows, you can go back to preferences, general, arrow key, appearance, and the theme. You can change it from classic to dark, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I think dark is a little bit easier on the eyes. Now that you have Eclipse in the view that's most comfortable to you, you know a few keyboard shortcuts that you know how to find, and you know how to do print and print line statements. We have completed lesson one. Congratulations. I always like to end each episode with a little bit of a homework assignment. And since we didn't do too much coding today, it's, it's not easy, but this is just a, something a little bit fun. You don't have to do it. Uh, it might not improve your programming skills quite so much as just be a fun little assignment. By searching text art, I was able to find this and you can create something fun and cool and be able to print something out that you can be proud of instead of just some text. If you have some cool and appropriate text art that you can leave in the comment section, I'm sure that would be greatly appreciated among the other users. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and subscribing to the course really promote the course to other users and lets them know that it was useful for you guys. So the next lesson, we are going to talk a little bit more about what all of these data types are all about. So when we have print line, we could do a boolean, char, double, float, int, long, object, string. What are all these about? Um, we'll go a little bit further into how to do some problem solving and some equations within Eclipse. And we're going to continue pushing through some of these basics, but we're actually going to get to some of the algorithms and mathematics involved with programming. So I hope you guys join me next time. Thanks for watching. This is Crow's Programming Course signing off.